Hey everybody, welcome back to Parkitect. So, we are continuing with Chanute, Chanute, however you pronounce it, Airfield. And I feel like I should probably make a roller coaster this episode and like plop it right here in front of the path because we have a gentle ride, we have a exciting ride, and now we need a coaster. Money, we also have money to do it. This is going to be a problem. I'm telling you right now, because with the first scenario and this scenario, everything I've put down, I've had the money for at the end of the last scenario, I was starting to run out of money, but I was able to beat the scenario with the money they gave me. I have a feeling the same thing's gonna happen in this one, and uh, we're about to spend a lot of this. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we're not gonna spend a lot of it, because we have a junior coast. These coasters. Junior, mini, and wild mouse. They're really not that crazy. Like, we can do it no problem. I guess we're building a junior coaster. Small, slow coaster that can't go very high. Great for those who prefer low intensity but will bore others. Smaller, less intense coaster with no inversions, usually the first step in any coaster lover's journey. Small drill cars that ride on the track may take many tight flat turns and bunny hops. Should I do a wild mouse? I don't know, I think I'm gonna do a junior coaster. Junior coasters are easy, and people usually love them, so let's see what happens here. Got some station going in. That's not the button I wanted to press. I'm gonna go right into chains. Alright, we can only use that slope to go up the chains. Hey, cool. Where are the chains? You liar. Is that tall enough? Probably. I mean, I can go taller, but it's a junior coaster, you know? You don't... Don't want to go too crazy tall here. You know what I'm going to do? Why do we still have chains on it? <laughs> We're going to drop it. And then, can I do it like this? And then up and, can I go up and turn it? Hey, I can't, should I bank it at all? I don't know if I need to, it's a junior coaster. Do you need to bank junior coasters? Let's find out. Is that what I want to do? I feel like this song's a new song. I don't think I've ever heard this one before. We're going to go straight and drop it. That looks kind of weird. It's not what I necessarily wanted. You know what? I don't know what I want. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I want to turn going up. We'll bank it slightly, you know, just so it looks correct. I think I wanted like a hill, but maybe I wanted to do that. No, it's literally the same thing it was just doing. Hmm. Oh, it just seems weird what I did here, and I don't know why it seems weird. What if I do this? And then drop one of these? Like so. That's all I kind of wanted was hills on this. I didn't want anything too crazy. Yeah, it works. Right? It's a junior coaster. It's supposed to be small. I might put more than one lap on it as well. I kind of like it. Okay. It looks a little strange right here when I did that thing with that hill, but... There's no smoothing it. I could go back and fix it, but I'm far too, too lazy to do that. How about we do something different here? We're going to have a little bit of speed. We put a helix going up. There's a no helix up. Up, oh, there it is. You know, just change it up a little bit. I can't see you doing anything with this area of bag. Now I can... Put path back. It'll work. Shut up. It'll work. Okay. I'm sorry I told you to shut up. I didn't mean it. We'll do that. We'll do that. I mean, we still don't have a crazy amount of speed, so I think we're going to be all right. We're back down to three. Three. 
when I say we don't have a crazy amount of speed, I hope I mean it because that is a pretty tight turn if we have a crazy amount of speed. All right. It's simple. It works. Nothing too intense. Once again, I was watching my money as well. And I think this coaster is going to fare decently for everything. We'll put the entrance somewhere. We'll put it over here because I can. We'll put the exit right there so it attaches to the uh, info booth. Ho-ho! It's me being clever. Also, I did just build this entire coaster in pause menu. Once again, don't know if that's technically cheating or not with this scenario. But I did it anyway. I want this path. There we go. Put that up there. Perfect. Alright, now the queue line. Oh, let me test this thing. It will only test in non-pause mode, won't it? Okay, fine. I will make the queue line first. We'll come under here. Go over there. All right. It's weird. It's interesting. Let's see how it works. Oh, we can ride it too. Get ready. Whoop. Up we go. I keep on forgetting that I can ride these rides. And it shouldn't be anything too crazy, like I said. Simple, small, money-saving coaster. That's my biggest concern now, is like I can't go crazy with these rides because I have money. And that area actually didn't look that bad. Money I need to worry about. Which is not something I'm used to. Alright, see what the rating was, and then decide if I should up it a lap. I probably will up it a lap anyway. The thoughts. Medium, low. Decoration, bad. You're bad, jerk. Let's see. Can I up it a lap? I could have sworn I could up it a lap. I can also add more trains. Wasn't that a thing in this game? I don't see it here, though. You can also increase the chain lift speed to 10 miles per hour. 36 point, or 32.6 is the number to beat. More cars. Faster chain lift speed. It's better. I don't see the whole lap thing, though. I could have sworn it would be here. Maybe they never add to this game, and maybe I'm just dumb. If it's not here, it would be under the construction of it. Which, it's not going to be here either, is it? Okay, whatever. We're opening it with one lap. I tried. Colors. Look at these queue line colors. Ho ho! Don't hit the track. All right. It's open. Ride my ride. Why aren't you riding it? Something more intense? How about you leave the park, idiot? It's the most intense ride out there. Why is nobody riding my coaster? Oh my, don't you do this to me. What, do the people just want intense rides? It's a junior coaster. Look how many people are riding this thing. You can't tell me no one's going to ride this ride. I'm sad. I want to go. Two people. We'll ride the freaking thing then. <laughs> Don't tell me. Just do it. All right. Well, now that I'm officially angry at everyone, what should I do now? <laughs> Scenery? Uh, Scenery feels like a waste of money, but at the same time, I think you kind of need it. I think people do appreciate a decent looking park. And rain again. So let's just add rocket stuff. So we'll keep generic and science fiction because apparently we're doing a science fiction themed park all right all right we don't care about nature just eh, maybe we do nature flowers where can i put some flowers i think like somewhere in here yo who broke my bench who the frick bro broke my bench i heard it happen i'm not paying for that much okay you were just had no problem i want to go on again but i'm not paying that much for it all right joyce you're a freaking idiot do we have a security guard i don't think we have a security guard Ugh. great now we need to hire security because we have idiots breaking my benches 
We also need a staff to come fix that. Didn't want to hire a security guard, but I have no choice. Arrest that man or whoever it was that broke it, or just find who broke it. Yo, mechanic, we're wandering around. No, fix it. Thank you. Okay, what was I doing? Great, it's raining. No one's gonna write anything. Scenery. <laughs> Getting distracted. Archways. Can you do anything cool with these archways? Eh, kind of. Will they block the rain, I think, is the real question. There's really no place I could put them here. Well, that's a little awkward. You kind of overlap. Borders. Yeah, see, there's just so much you can do. And I'm not talented at all when it comes to building things. Hey, wait a second. Hold on. I can need I can block this thing, ready? Does that belong like that or Nope. I don't think there's any way I can uh, hide this building with these blocks as much as I wanted to. There's no, like, walls. This is like a kind of space thing. <laughs> a good old space thing. Actually, putting these buildings probably won't even block it. Hold on. Looking at the decoration, you can see where all the problems is. Oh, it actually does block it. Okay, cool. So what if I just... Let me try something. Don't know if it's going to work. Probably not going to work, but I'm trying it. Hmm. Kind of does, but once again, is not, like, what I want to do at all. We would need some walls. Walls, 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 structure. See, there's too many things. Too much, man. Too much. Do we have any kind of, uh, you know, this stuff? This blends in with the scenery. Because it's literally airplane hanger material. There we go. Cover the bathroom in it. You're going to go to the bathroom in a shed. Enjoy. Door frame. Probably get a door frame over here. Hide all the garbage. Oh, look at the door. Is my garbage can broken? Wait, wait, wait. Did that guy just do it? Did I just witness Chester breaking something? No, he's way too happy. Damn it. Just a random chicken bone on the ground. Who is breaking my stuff? My light's broken, too. Who's doing it? <laughs> I swear. People need to start getting banned in my park. There's no reason to be breaking anything. I just opened. You know, we got a couple rides. That needs to be fixed. That's, I kind of just want to sit here and watch, see if I can catch the person doing it. And is it one bad egg, or is it multiple bad eggs? Why are they breaking my stuff? It's not that bad of a park, is it? Is it? <laughs> Gotta start slapping people, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, there we go, look, I get open doors that are opened out that way. I don't know if that counts, but... I'm putting them in anyway. All right. Did they break? They broke that freaking garbage can again. Security guard, do your job. Catch the idiot doing it. And then kick him in the face. Directly in the skull. Kick their face off. I'm just staring at it now. I want to catch the bad egg doing it. I'll drown him. <laughs> I'll drown him. I don't care if this is a scenario and that it might affect my overall score. I will drown the guilty culprit. Did I say that right? Probably not. All right, I gotta look for a ceiling. <laughs> probably not gonna be under walls. It's probably gonna be under roofs. Roof. Perfect. Alright, how does that look with the...
decoration. It looks like a mess. It's because of right here as well, this, like, uh, staff path. And... Was it you? Hey! Oh, you just got busted! Leaving the park, Shannon Greer. I'm banned. Good, you're a freaking idiot. Oh, man. I mm, Should I drown? Look how she she seemed like a good egg at first. Impatient, grumpy, stingy. Yeah, never come back, Shannon. Or Sharon. Honestly, this makes me happy. I should just... Can we drown her outside the park? Would I get in trouble for that? No. She gets to sit here and live knowing that she's banned from this great park. All right. Now that I've got that out of the way, I hope she was the one doing all of it, because if she's not... Ugh. More people need to be banned. Hedge. Hedge. The hedges are great. Why do I have a light right there? Can I not... Okay, I apparently can't pick something up and move it, which... Somebody else is getting... Oh, you freaking tool. Get out, George Shepard. People these days are just so terrible. So there's no high intensity rides. I haven't been able to find any rides that interest me. So that's why you're breaking my crap? Shut up. I don't have any high intensity rides because they didn't give me any high intensity rides. I think I need to research high intensity rides, but I don't want to spend my money. I want to spend my money on rides. All right, we'll add more rides. Yeah, we need to add another exciting ride. Uh, we have the jumper. Let's add the Gravitron. I don't know if people love it or not, but I'm putting it in anyway. Let's plop this bad boy right there. We can put the entrance here, the exit there. That way I don't have to do too much in terms of adding path. Just that. Um, you know what we're also going to do? We're also going to add a staff connection right there. So in case they're over here, they don't have to walk all the way around and down. They can go whip. And yeah, I'm going to have to do something with scenery there to block that, but that's fine. Let's... Oh, I wonder how this is going to work with the path going over it. That might be an issue. Hold on, let me get the queue line in for this thing. Pew! Perfect, that little bit adds a lot. <laughs> and open. Yeah, it's not even that exciting of a ride. Damn it! <laughs> Thought it was going to be. Well, gives people more things to ride and hopefully stay in the park longer. And that's what really matters. Alright. So back at the scenery thing. We're getting there. I don't know what this is here. I'm assuming it's just the staff path. Yeah, see, this is definitely going to be an issue. But we blocked it off there. Uh, the broken garb... Mm, I hate everyone. I literally hate everyone. Yeah, hold on. How am I going to work this one? Let's add stuff around and eh, get off my screen let's add the hedge there now let's put it on the path whoa look how super green it is in that area there we go and then if you can hear that that's a dog barking somebody just came home and for some reason they think it's fun to stay outside and knock him in the house and say hi to the doggo. And he's freaking out about it. <laughs> Let's see here. I want to do that. I want to do that. I like doing it like this for some reason. And I don't know what that reason is. Just kidding. The reason is... It cuts down on... Like, I could put, like, flowers here now and don't have to... Or I could put anything here right now and not have to worry about a hedge being inside of it. And it also, like, makes the path more narrow. And doesn't look that bad. I uh, should probably... Like, right here. Perfect case. Case in point. Like, if I put it on the outside, I'd have to put it in there. But since I didn't, I could put it right there. I'm also just lining this because I'm curious to see how this affects things. Man, those hedges are great. Look at that. Look how much green! That's good. Green is good. Green means money. This, though, is still an issue. Um... Actually, just might be this stretch. Just put shrubbery all the way down here. And it might be this building as well. 
But this is kind of covered, so this is might just be doubling up. Not important. This thing, though, is going to need to be covered in crap, which is fine. I also, yeah, this right here is an issue. I think it's because it's over it, so I would need to put something under it, like a roof. Walls. Let's see what I got. Let's see what magic I can pull here. I could do, like, a tunnel kind of thing. Put a door frame here. And here. And then just a roof. Let's see if this works. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Boom. Okay. Nothing changed. But now we have a little bit of a tunnel there. It's fine. It might be this thing as well. Hold on. Let me try this, and then we'll end the episode. Like, I've spent live streams trying to figure this stuff out, and sometimes it takes a lot of guessing. And you just gotta keep on putting crap down and seeing what happens. And then sometimes you're like, I figured it out, and then you didn't. And you're like, well, I have no idea what's wrong. It's interesting how, like, people actually get disgusted by these buildings. Like, that staff room just looks like a building, you know? It doesn't look gross to me. Or it should lower scenery score, whoops, or anything. But that's my own personal opinion. Apparently people in this game think differently. They're like, ew, that's ugly. Get it out of my face. Now you get the roof sticking out of it. Ho <laughs> ho! And look at that, I fixed it. Scenery in this park is great. Look at me go. We built the roller coaster. We built the Gravitron, which people love. They're still breaking my crap, probably. But at least now they can get banned for it. Next episode, we'll move more down this way. We'll move more down this way. Maybe add a little more scenery. But yeah, so far so good. We're making money! $12 a month. Success. And we have 110 people in the park. We need, what, 250? And then eventually 400. I think those are the goals. Can I see that here? 250 guests in the park. Complete all non-optional goals. Okay, so yeah, this is the only one we have to do at the end of year two. And then we can hit the 400 one ourselves. It's not even hit 400 people in the park. It's sell 400 tickets. That's going to be easy as well. Easy scenario. We got this. Anyway. Ending this here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed. They help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.